Hi, right, once again, Pastor Bob Reynolds here from uh, True Life Community Seventh-day Adventist Church here in Denver, Colorado. I recently read the story of a man named John who was visiting a patient in the hospital. He said, as I made my way toward the room, I saw a man walking very slowly down the hallway. He was connected to an IV in his arm. The man was just walking around the hospital in slow pace. The patient with the IV passed by me again, he says, but this time he was walking a little bit faster. But John, who came to visit a patient, passed the IV man one more time, and this time he was walking even faster. John said when he left the hospital, he, he turned to the man with the IV and he noticed he was walking faster than he was a few minutes ago. Why was that? The man replied, before I was hooked up to this IV, I had very little strength. But because I got connected, I'm gaining strength every minute to walk farther and faster. You know, Isaiah 41 verse 10 is a verse we all need to remember for those times when we feel weak and helpless. It says, so don't be afraid. I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will hold you up with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 41.10. And then again, another verse that we should put to memory is Isaiah 40, verse 31, which says, But those who wait for the Lord and go to him for help will have their strength renewed. They will soar like eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. Wow. Wow. <laughs> What wonderful promises God gives to those who follow him. Would you like to have strength like that? All we need to do is follow God's instructions to stay connected to the power he offers. That power comes through prayer, Bible study, and then helping others to connect to that same power. A lot of people pray and read their Bibles, but even the man on the IV shared where his power came from. He stayed connected to the source that gave him strength. Let God be your IV today. Father, we thank you for the power that you offer, the power that you promise when we come to you. Give us strength today to stay connected. In Jesus' name, amen.